go see it for yourself. Just get back on the zero and drive until you hit the crystal. Then turn uh, around. That's when we hit the crystal. It'll make sense once you get on the road. You can handle it. Th thanks, Marianne. Drive until we Bye. hit the crystal and then turn around. Bye, Marianne. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good. Good. Hey, Blue. Blue's like, what was all that about? I smelled bears. <laughs> Did you bring me back any bears? Yeah. Did you bring me back any jerky? Yeah, right? Jerky or... Whiskey? Anything. Oh, yeah, that's a hard drive. What? Okay, so this is like a cave. Wow. So. This is the coolest thing. And it is 3D, so we wow. drive until we see the crystal. Well, I guess we're going to a different we go. church. It's like a bicycle. Oh, my goodness, this is so amazing looking. The crystal. Let me go back. Oh. Wow. Um. Oh, wait, did I get it? I think wait. we go down here now. I think it's behind us, right? You just oh, change location. I changed. I did change. Yeah. So this is the office building again now. I messed up. Okay. Gonna drive on up. Until we see the crystal. I love it. Now. Now it should be the church down here. Yep. Keep going. Oh, so weird. Hmm. What a weird thing. Self storage? <gasps> Self storage. It's where we store all ourselves. Is this where the church is? I don't know. Act two. Scene two. St. Thomas I Church. I guess. I guess it was a church in the. What? 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 Wow. What a neat level. Uh, huh. Hey, Shannon. What do you think? Is that it? Over there? It's dusty in here. You work with antiques? You should be used to a little dust, right? Look, he, I'm not, he's not the best of health. A janitor. Hey, a janitor. It's dusty. You're do throwing, your do your job. You're throwing horseshoes in like the janitor bucket. Good. Did you call that person Dusty? Oh, Brandon. Yeah, it's his name now. Oh, his name's Brandon. Oh, here for the night mass. Uh, where's the congregation? I guess this must look pretty strange. Church without a congregation. When they first moved in here, man, this place was packed. They had a mass every night, two on Sunday. But it got a bit awkward to fit everyone in, and the numbers quickly dwindled. Once folks started to see it as a thing that was falling apart, they lost their center of gravity and just started wobbling. Huh. Then the preacher stopped coming too, but he left his old tapes. Same with the organist. And I found some old acetates in the Bureau of Archives, photos of people in churches. So I keep it running. Oh, what a nice guy. You do what you have to, right? Uh, right now we have to find some Bureau documents. Oh, you're from the Bureau? I moved all those documents to Unit C-315 to make room for the Mass. It's down at the other end of the building. Same floor. I need to get the night Mass started. But you can borrow my keys. Oh, thank you. I'll go. You wait here. Rest your leg. You're looking kind of pale. Oh, please let us control Shannon. And nice not, lady. Not watch. Well, I'd better get this running. Not sit here and watch Conway. Random presses play on an old tape machine. Uh, we listen or we want to chat? We feel chatty or listeny? Um, oh, Shannon is leaving with that. Is this, um, is your whole family Catholic? Oh, no. We're not religious. I just watched and listened while the congregation did all this stuff, and I probably don't understand as much of it as you might think. Anyway, I know how to run the overhead projector and the tape player. At least I know enough to keep it going, right? It's so dark. How do you like working here? It's okay. I don't really know what else I would do. I used to play a lot of card games, you know, in high school. Some of my friends went to college. Most of them just got jobs. Maybe in a few years we'll be hanging out in bars, playing darts or something. You're not allowed to play cards in the bar because it looks like gambling. <laughs> you sound kind of like Kenneth the Page. I like it. <laughs> uh, my leg is killing me. I bet everyone's telling you to go see a doctor. Hey, I get it. Too expensive. My dad cut his arm pretty bad on the job, but he stitched himself back up because we didn't have health insurance. But then his hand didn't work very well, and he got pretty depressed, and eventually he just sort of... Well, I guess I don't know what he should have done. Who knows, right? Um, the doctor? The doctor. Uh, this is like a hobby? 
If you ask me what my hobbies were, I'd say card games, science fiction, <laughs> and perspective geometry. But I run a slideshow and I play the tapes and I don't get paid for it. I take it pretty seriously. But nobody's telling me I should. Is that a hobby? Seems like there ought to be a more serious word for it. I'm glad that he likes science fiction. Okay, that's it. Next, there are some rituals that you and I aren't allowed to participate in, I don't think. And I don't remember them anyway. Uh. Hi, <laughs> got it. Uh. We were just listening to the sermon, but we weren't. What? I found what we came here to get. The file on street name changes. You don't look good. Let's head back to the bureau and get this straightened out, and then maybe we should go see that doctor the clerk recommended. Maybe we should go to the doctor first. Huh? Probably. Shannon? Probably, Shannon? yes. Shannon? Okay, click exit. Yeah, probably. I'm surprised we didn't see. Maybe we would have if we'd sat and listened to the homily. Maybe we missed something by chatting too much. I maybe. Turn that off. So dun 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 dun. So, it was like the Law and Order doink yeah. doink noise. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, Jesus, are you all right? What the hell? My leg is stuck in something. Are we back? Did we go back in time? Shit. Okay, I'm gonna pull you out. We have to get you out of here. We're back in the mine. There you go. Okay, are you hurt? Can you put any weight on that leg? It's all messed up. What's what's going on? Here. Let's get you onto the tram. Oh my god, we're gonna we're gonna do Shannon's part now. There you go. Now let's see if this thing has power. <gasps> hey, old man, look at me. Can you hear me? What happened? I don't know. He collapsed. I think he blacked out. He was mumbling about the old Whoa. mine for a minute. The old mine where we met. I think I need to see that doctor. Yes, you do. Oh, I thought we actually were gonna go play her part, but nope. How do we get to this address from here? Um, I don't know. It's pretty tricky going back and forth between, you know, here and there. Um. The Bureau's the only way I know. Some of those folks do it all the time. Commuters. Huh. Just go back the way you came, find the crystal, and then turn around. Okay. Sure. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll follow his, follow his advice. It looks, like, it looks like we're in, like, a snake. Yeah, it does kind of look like we're in a big, a big time snake. This is the rib, like, little geometry shape thing. Look, the crystal. crystal. I need to get close enough, I don't think. Did I not? I think I need to get the little thing at the bottom. Oh, yeah, it made a noise. Yeah. That the... And look how the geometry's yeah. changed. Has or it? has it? Oh, weird. Are we back here? Do we mess it up? Go yeah, back. we're in here Messed again. It up we borked it. I had it. Doctor is. Whoa. Act two, scene three. It's moving fast. Bureau of reclaimed spaces. Mm -hmm. Man, he's just messed up. Mm -hmm. Sh Shannon, you should just like go ask Marianne and let Conway sit in the truck. Oh, is this cat? Meow, meow, meow. Oh, look cute. Marianne. Marianne! Help! My leg! It's been crushed. Help! Back so soon? We need to get to the interstate. Lula filed your papers, so you're in our system now. I can process you whenever you're ready to go back. Just let me know. Uh, we're ready to be processed? Mm-hmm. Can you tell us how to get to this Oh, yes. Yeah, we're looking for Dr. Truman. Of course, this is in the neighborhood just outside of Bowling Green. Get on 65 going southwest. Take a right just past the observatory, just before the river. If you continue north, you'll be there shortly. Oh, okay. Happy to help. Thanks. Okay. Oh. So are we going to get out of the zero? We, we need to get out of the zero. Sweet. So we got to go southwest, she said, on 65. Uh, 65 going southwest. Take a right just past the observatory, just before the river. If you continue north, you'll be there shortly. Okay. All right. Okay. Easy peasy. 
on the 65. We're looking for an observatory. It was awesome, by the way, seeing the little uh, circle thing in 3D in the tunnel. Yeah. I'm very impressed by this game's graphics. It's really cool. So this is the river, I think. Here's the observatory. Okay, well, a right, so I guess... No, this is a, this is a right, and then just go north. Got it. Yep. Easy peasy. Dr. Truman's house? Maybe. The neighborhood of the address in Lula's car has been demolished, and its place is a large museum, uh, still partially under construction. What is up, world? Is the doctor going to be here? Is this going to be like Outlast all over again? <laughs> Act 2, Scene 4. Museum of Dwellings. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, it's like the war room from Dr. Strangelove. Talk to Blue. Do we have an umbrella? Umbrella. Where did we get an umbrella? What? Okay, talk to Blue. What's up, Blue? Whoa. Oh, yeah. He was talking to his dog. Guy was a weirdo. What did he say? Just small talk, you know. Like you talk to your buddies or something. You know, like you talk to a dock worker. Just like, damn, there's a lot of rain. I haven't seen rain like this since that storm a couple years back that took out Lisette's herb garden. Um. I just feel bad for that old dog, getting dragged all over by a couple of drunks. Old dog like that should be sleeping on a porch somewhere, but that's loyalty for you. What? Well, they didn't stay long anyway. Uh. Shannon. Shannon. Shannon, tell me what's up. I heard the man and the lady talking when they first came in, but they didn't see me. Uh, what were they talking about? The man said his leg was hurting him. Whoa. They were looking for Dr. Truman, but he was already gone. But they didn't know, so they kept looking around. What? What? I just assumed they were from the power company. You know how they're always coming by unannounced and messing with this or that. I just shut myself up in my room to wait it out. No sense getting involved. Uh, they definitely work from the power company. Well, I wouldn't complain if they were, really, with that storm going on. I know they have to do their business. Doesn't affect me. I've got my generator. But you know some of these folks around here? Unprepared. Uh-huh. Totally unprepared. Grab the umbrella again. Oh, I love the umbrella! What a... Are we inside or outside? Uh, I don't... How did... It... I mean, they're talking about us clearly, but but I'm so confused. It is raining. Oh my goodness. This is so weird. Are we ghosts? Are we? Maybe. Maybe not me. Doesn't seem to be an option for it just yet. Okay. I don't understand if maybe we're hearing the ghosts that were here, maybe. But I'm still leaning towards the idea of us being ghosts. Whoa. What? What? Shift in perspectives a little bit. This is amazing. There's a house. <gasps> a little bird cage. The house in a place with what? What? Are we inside or this outside? It's the canary cage. The moment I now recall most clearly from the short visit was the bird cage exhibit. The old man stopped to rest, or maybe to think. The young woman had been anxious up to that point, but she stopped as well and examined the birdcage more closely. Canaries. It seemed to elicit a tenderness from her. She ran one fingernail along the bars of the wire cage, marking out a tuneless scale, like a child's xylophone. Uh. And then they moved on. Uh. The doghouse. Oh What's over here? Oh. We got like a chicken coop, looks like. We gotta get some real chickens in that coop. Do some homesteading. None of these folks know how to live off the land, you know how I mean? Uh. It's just a display. Yeah. No offense against you guys. I mean, I appreciate what all you've done oh, for so us. Oh, so this is dwellings for everything, I see. Bird there, there's a horse and, stable. And the human house. A barn. Yeah. Dog, dog, dog. Let's see what's over here. Oh, we'll go to the we'll go to the dog. We'll go to the dog soon. Oh, maybe I should explore over here more first. Oh yeah, there's too much progression that way. Yeah. I'm not ready to progress yet. Gotta know about the dog. Okay, I'll go to the dog. Because it's important. Blue. Blue is a dog. 
And that's where, presumably, he would live. She. She. Sorry, that's where she would live. That dog was in nearly as bad shape as the old man, just sort of shrugging along. They found some treats in the doghouse exhibit. That seemed to cheer them up a bit. Oh, is it? We gave him the blue? Blue you had a treat? I'll pretend I gave them a treat. Blue totally ate the treat. I don't seem to have an option to actually do that, so. <laughs> I think you need to get some real horses in the stable. Uh, did the strangers go to the stable? No, they just poked around a bit and talked about barns. They were pretty boring. Aww. I'm doing the best I can. There's a lot of talking, not a lot of action in this game. It's not my why. fault if I don't it's know a boring why he game. We're boring. You guys. <laughs> we're not boring at all. We're ghosts. <laughs> ghosts aren't boring, they're terrifying. By default, we kind of win. Look at this house. It's a pretty cool house. Oh, there's that, that same kind of quilt on the barn. Uh. I was playing that empty cabin and they came by. They asked about Dr. Truman. I know where he went, but I didn't tell them. Did you talk about anything else, or did you ask where he went? I kind of ask. Okay. It's a secret. Ezra told me, and I can't tell anyone else. Who is Ezra? He's my age. He doesn't really live here. He's just passing through with his brother, Julian. Huh. First, they're going to help us, but I can't say any more about that. We have a lot of secrets. Oh, Flora, you're weird. The lady asked me about my parents, and I told them they were upstairs in the greenhouse. Do you want to hear a weird story? Of course I do. The old man asked me about the cabin. He said it looked like another house he knew, and he wanted to know where it came from. I told him nobody lived there, so he went inside. He took a long time exploring. When he came back out, he told me all about it. What did he find in the cabin? He went upstairs, and he also looked around the other rooms. I played with the dog. Uh... It's getting dark. What did he do upstairs? He looked in some boxes. He looked out the window. He could see the museum better than when he was downstairs. He could tell how it was all put together. And the cabin, too. He could see the shape of it better from up there. Now the part that is weird. He said he went into the basement. The cabin doesn't have a basement. Um, he said he found a staircase in... He said he dug for the ground to get there. Then he found a rope leading down below. Oh, the other options. He was surrounded by giant aphids. Oh. What? Aphids were friendly. They are friendly. Ladybugs eat them. Mm. The garden was very beautiful. He felt so calm, he fell asleep. He woke up on the floor of the cabin. He came back outside and we said goodbye. And I didn't talk to them anymore. The kid there. <gasps> uh, a new a, a a new challenger has appeared. What's up, child? I don't seem to be able to interact with That's the child. That's so weird. They just are there. Oh my gosh. Go over here. Giant aphids? Really? That's the what? story you told, not I me. I know, I did tell it. I did tell it, but now Conway is clearly insane. Maybe. I want to talk to this I person. I can't. I, I don't know who they are. I guess I can't. Let's go talk to this other person we saw. Yeah. Unless we want to go back in that barn or something. But no, I want to know. I, I want to know. know. Maybe this is our doctor. I kind of doubt it. Or maybe this is Ezra, maybe. That seems more likely. I can't talk to you. What is... These are... This is a road. These are like road turnstiles. Oh, you can't... There's a guitar. Oh, there we go. Sure, I talked to them for a bit. Actually, we talked for quite a while. I wasn't really. I was happy for the company. Can't sleep in a storm like that. I never could. Uh... Did you see how they got in? They came right in the front door. It wasn't locked. Your security here is kind of, kind of shitty. I wasn't going to say, but... Uh, what did you talk about? I had a bottle in my coat, and I could see the old guy looking at it, and his leg was hurt pretty bad, so I offered it some. He got real awkward about it. I bet he's in a program. Uh, uh... Anyway, they were asking about Dr. Truman. I remember him. He was here for a bit, and then he left. 
that's what I told them. Oh. Thanks. Can't talk to them. No, we seem to be doing our talking indirectly and in past tense. Yeah. Currently. This is a very strange museum. Agreed. It's over here. More. A little trailer. Oh, I bet they live here. It's like a train car. A tent. I guess they must have gone through some papers here. It was in some disarray, and a few folders were pulled out and left on the table. I mean, it wasn't too bad, I only noticed, because Diane's such a stickler. She's real organized, I mean. <laughs> was anything missing? Uh, no. They pulled out a list of the folks who didn't take the offer. Folks moved elsewhere, but they filed that back out of order. So I guess they didn't find what they were looking for there. Hey, uh, while I have you here, work's kind of slowed down, and it seems like... I know you folks know what you're doing, but it seems like the residents are just kind of settling in. That's the idea. Yeah, I get that. Just, how about that roof, huh? You just write us a check and we'll finish it right up. I know you got this museum thing going on, but you don't want to be slumlords now. Whoa, okay. Check out that train car. It's on the tracks and everything. The tent, I don't know if we should be talking, looking at the tent, maybe? Everything's got, like, something to look at. How weird. What is this? I'm not even sure what that is. It's a dumpster, I think. I'm not sure about that. Oh. They were hollering at that empty tent when you folks have on display. Ha! Hey, if you ever need anyone to stay in there, I've been in worse positions. Hollering at it? Okay. Ooh, loo, loo. Uh, we're, we're, we're clearly nuts. Holla! Yeah, they came by and knocked on the window, and we had a bit of a talk through the glass. I would have come out, but, you know, shady characters. Huh. They seem suspicious? I already told you. Weirdos. Walking around door to door asking about Dr. Truman this late at night. Told them what I know, but in this weather... Uh, what do you know about Dr. Truman? I told them he moved in here with the rest of us when you folks bought up the neighborhood, and then one day his house was gone. That's all I know about that. I don't want to talk about that anymore. Okay. Okay, buddy. Guy's a little high strong. Is he a hobo? Does he live in the train? Dr. Uh, hobo? He lives in that trailer. That little, uh, camper. I mean, does the doctor live in the Oh. I heard them banging around out there, and I just stayed quiet. I don't know what they wanted. I just put my headphones on and tried to ignore them, to tell you the truth. Oh, thanks. Okay. Train, train, a train. Oh, okay. A train, a train. To the train. Not okay. this way. I apparently. guess not. Okay. Can I go over to these things? No. Oh, weird. Okay. They're very specific in what they want you to, uh, to do. There's clearly something I can look at there. I yeah. just have to walk around the tent the long way to get there. Ugh. Forced. Pathing. You know, at first I thought it might be Hudson walking up to visit. I'd heard him working on his boat just a bit earlier, before the storm started. But then I saw the stranger's limping gait and the young woman with him, and I knew it couldn't be. I invited them in for a glass of bourbon, which they politely declined, so I just talked to them on the porch for a bit. What did you talk about? Oh, we talked a bit about the neighborhood. Told them about the Hudson and his sailboat, a nice young couple in the greenhouse, and the charming Dr. Truman who used to live here. They were very interested in him. But of course, well, I don't know where he went. You know, I don't believe either of them had ever set foot on a houseboat before. I don't know that the older man had ever seen an ocean, in fact. It's always been my fondest dream to retire on a houseboat. That's why I accepted your offer and moved in here. It isn't perfect, but what home ever is. I only wish the house would sway a bit. I find that it settles my nerves. Well, if we have another storm like that last one. Huh. Okay. Weird. So yeah, Kentucky is landlocked. If you were on a houseboat, you're probably on a river or a lake. Yeah. This is actually the end of the game. The end of the game is watering the museum. They have not ever actually. They have, there is not a Act Three out yet. 
So it'll tell us when you beat Act Two, I assume. I hope there'll be a end of Act Two. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh. construction site. There we go. Whoa, There's bird. Like, crow, like a raven or a crow or something. Yeah. Oh, hello. Going up. Yeah, here we are. What we need? Blue. There, there you are, blue. Come on up, little doggy. What's blue? What's blue's ear? I was like, what's blue carrying? This is blue's giant floppy. Blue's ears. like floppy hound ears, yeah. That's my only real comment so far. A storm is ominous. Yeah. Umbrella! Nope. Appropriate now. Yay! I would say. So they have not finished. <gasps> what on earth was that? That was a big bird. Is this Dr. Truman's house? Yay! Did it disappear Truman. because it's up here? We were working in the greenhouse, oh. and I saw them come up in the elevator. They were lost, obviously. Obviously. It was obvious. Okay. There's another thing over here. What? Oh, that bird is so big. This is like... Well, of course, I'm looking at the odd-shaped building. The... Uh... Did they go inside? No, they just looked at it for a bit. I don't know that I feel safe setting foot in there personally. You know, I think it's about to take off. <laughs> Actually, I guess it's sort of romantic anyway. They seem interested in it. Tired, huddling under their umbrellas, they still stop to examine this strange building. Okay. Looks like a Uncle Owen and Aunt Baru's house from Star Wars a little bit. Yeah. So. There's a boat. Yay! I've heard that someone carried off something. Yeah, that happens. It's like a Difficult to see or even hear a storm like that, but I was awake and alert studying the wind's forecast. Should even out shortly, I'd say. Uh, you take close attention to the weather. Hard not to have, yeah. The strangers wanted to know how I cope with the exposure. I guess some people will never understand the appeal of life on a sailboat. It's tragic, I'd say. Okay. Well, then they had to leave, looking for a doctor, I think. The old man was having a bad time. It was a short conversation. Okay. Yeah, that bird reminds me of, uh... A, a rock. This is the greenhouse. Is, yeah. Oh. Look. Floor was playing down on the lower level. We've been having a glass of wine in the greenhouse. We ducked out of the way when he came in. After all, they were complete strangers. We didn't know them. Did they, you ever hear them talking? Well, I heard the young woman ask her friend about his job. He's some kind of furniture collector or dealer, I think. It didn't sound like things were going well. Maybe they were here looking for a buyer. Yes, definitely some kind of furniture collector or dealer. I heard him talking about antiques. Huh. I didn't know this girl had umbrellas until now. Well, she didn't pull hers out because it wasn't actually needed until now. I see. She did hers automatically, and I can I can get really wet if I feel like it. Yeah, I don't. You want to? But get I don't want to get really wet. Add that to my busted leg. Oh, Ezra. Ezra. Last. Ezra. Where are you going? Go go I saw you folks drive up. I like your truck. What kind of truck is that? Uh, do you know where the truck is? Yes, ma'am. He's out in the forest. Me and Julian took him out there a few nights ago, and he didn't want to come back. He lives there all the time now. Um, this museum's an okay place to live in the daytime, but it's no good at night. Folks just can't sleep in a place like this, and when they do, it gives them nightmares. So we take him out to the forest to sleep, and then bring him back in the morning. Um, Ezra, you're, you're freaky. Um, is your family out in the forest? Oh, no. There. I don't know where they are. Me and Julian are looking for them for a while, but... Anyway, we have a job to do now. Taking these people out to the forest tonight so they can sleep. Oh my god. Maybe if the rest of them will be like Dr. Truman and want to stay out there, we'll get back to looking. What is happening? Can you tell us how to get to the forest? You have to follow the Green River way out east and then hop over Lake Cumberland. The roads don't go there. Just hop over the lake. That's all. Just in your truck. Hop, hop over it. But me and Julian can take you. 
Let's see which is the bat to go anyway. Oh, it can't be a good idea. You gotta call him over. It's the bird. It's the bird. It's the bird. Cuck, 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 cuck. Oh my yeah! god. Nice bird. Julian's the giant bird. This is nuts. What is this game about? It's gonna crash down on us. Oh! oh! Umbrella's gone. Blue came with us. We're right? going for a wet little ride. That was nuts. We're going to the, the forest. <gasps> oh, we're wow. controlling the bird now. Wow. So, or no, we're just... Oh yeah, we're in the general area. So, okay, alright. Notes. Forest. Follow the Green River way out east and then hop over Lake Cumberland. So that this way then, right? This is the river, I think. Yeah. Oh, we go as the bird flies. Oops. That bird isn't looking at it. It's this is the Green River. Yeah. And then... So we're gonna follow the river. Oh, you can probably skip. Yeah, like how... As the, as the <laughs> bird flies. That's nice. Yeah. You're not forced on a path. That's really pretty looking. Yeah. Just wow, this is... Wings this, arch. This forest is really far away. What? what like, what is going on? This game wait, has... Wait, 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 wait. Forest. Alright, we're going west. So we need to... Well, I'm going the wrong way. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Um. Okay. Creepy forests where people go to sleep. Yes. And they can't go to sleep in the museum. Museum. So are those people dead? Are they ghosts living in there? Is that what it is? You go to the forest and you find peace? Is that how you sleep? It's Barren River. There are more things. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I saw something. In the air, at first, it looks like a swamp. Vines have grown over the street lamps. Flower blushes obscure the streets. A few of the houses have slipped partially into the ground. Foundation is cracked by underground roofs. So I guess the forces around here. This is so, so scary looking. That lake is really sharp. Oh, that's the forest. That's gotta be the forest. Wow. What a pretty drawing of it. How does that look so cool? It's just a couple little dashes. Just a bunch of lines. But they're in 3D and they've got some nice shading. Wow. Act 2. Scene five. A forest. A forest. Whoa, that's a forest, all right. <gasps> We're Ezra. You're Ezra. I said blue is following us. Hi. Is that the bird? Is that a ghost bird? Oh! He's a ghost bird. Or no, he's... He's a giant eagle that's bending behind the trees there. That's all. This is like... Wait, this is like some M.C. Escher crap here. Because there's like... He's like on the trees, oh, but between right. the trees. You're he's right. not invisible. He just... Oh! <sighs> what? Ah! Ah! Oh my god, I love this bird though. It's okay, just take it easy. I'll just close my eyes. I don't think that's a good idea. Just take some strain off your leg for a minute, and then we'll keep going. Why is... Why is this delivery so important to you? It's my last delivery. Oh. You're retiring or something? Or... Sorry. I'm not as tough as I used to be. Well, just rest up for a minute. I think you're still plenty tough. We're gonna eat him. We're gonna be like... <laughs> quack, quack, quack. So Ezra is like, what is that? What is this thing? Space House? Uh, what? It is Space it's, House. It's, it's Conway right here. And Conway is here as well. What is going on? Ezra, do you know what's going on? It's doing the same sort of weird yeah. Asherian like. Oh my god, what, what is happening? We're skipping time. We're having a narrative. Should be much further now. I think I can see where the settlement ends over there. This forest is full of shadows. The moonlight helps. Closer to the cities, you don't get moonlight like this. It all gets washed out. Light pollution, you know. I guess it's still there. You just can't see it. How you feeling? I just need to rest. We're almost there. Dr. Truman will have a nice couch or something you can rest on and some medicine or something. I don't know. 
Oh, you did the blue. Oh, the blue. How'd you come to be with these people? Or what do you like to do? How'd you come to be with these people? Uh, I bet you were pretty wild when you were younger. When I'm old like you, I'll still be wild. That's it, huh? Blue doesn't talk. That's right. It's the creepiest child monster oh. creature. There was a tent, and then there wasn't a tent, and then there was a tent again. Uh, and there's not a tent. This game is amazing. It's, it took a little bit for to start doing this kind of stuff, but now it's really coming to its own. Oh, there's like, we're in the middle of not a caravan. These are all the places we saw. These are all the places that were in the museum, but they're out here, kind of, in the forest. But not really. This is so cool. But kind of. Conway! The car. Do you have any family you're close with? Brother, sister, kids? Uh, just with Seth's family, I guess. Oh, yeah? Husband, bunch of kids? She has this great kid named Charlie. Sorry. Guess I was always closest with Weaver. As close as someone can be with a girl like that. She was always on her own wavelength, but we were the same age growing up and everyone else was so busy. When she disappeared, I got pretty angry. And I guess I just stayed that way. I never really understood her, but I knew her. It's lonely without someone like that around. Sorry, I'm... You're a good listener. <laughs> I'm Conway. I say very little. <laughs> it's a car. Yeah. There's a car house? Someone live in the car? Uh, well, can't. Yeah. People do live in cars yeah, sometimes. Yeah, kind of sound there. Every now and then. Um. Dog house. A dog house! No storm a regular house. Big house. Oh, nothing can help us. Me too. Look at that house stream. That's a good thing for a true man to do. Yes. You made a pun, but I agree with you. <laughs> oh, Shannon, where's Conway? Conway fell. Oh, okay, good. This is it. This is kind of like my grandparents' house. A little bit. Where have you been? We lost sight of you. Yep, it's easy to get lost, especially out in the woods like this. I never really get lost, though. Just look out for Julian. He's always around. My folks had a really nice house, bigger than any of these houses. But it made them worried all the time. Then the bank took it back. Oh, I'm to the bank. To take the worries away like that. Uh, we had to sleep at the bus station. But I could never get to sleep. So I just went out to fly around every night with Julian. We flew really far and we never got lost. But when we came back in the morning, they were all gone. We'll help you look for them. Yeah, okay. Maybe we can all go looking again later tonight. Let's go see what's on TV. Uh... Uh, Con Conway, Dr. Truman. Hey, Dr. Truman. You look kind of like Steve Urkel. Or, uh, um, Kid and Play. Yeah. And, yeah, I think during that exit interview is when I really realized how badly they had me. Uh but how else can you pay for medical school? I have college friends with debts that you can't expect to pay that back unless you're planning to sell painkillers on the side or something. Or, you know, some kind of administrative thing. Uh-huh. I don't know. I haven't seen what arthritis did to my grandmother and my best friend in high school destroy his wrists building synthesizers. I mean, he was like 17, ailments of the joints and limbs just seem important to me. Oh, that's convenient, because, you know... I hope that answers your question. Getting a scholarship with that pharmaceutical company had a lot of strings attached. But at least I have somewhere to practice, even if I have to follow their market trends a bit. And hey, thanks to all those seminars, I'm an expert on the medical use of Neurop and old TM. It's not so bad. So how's about that leg? What happened exactly? It was like something grabbed my leg in the dark. Grab? Like an animal? Or a piece of machinery? Hmm, that could be ugly. I've seen some joints twisted right out of... Oh, never mind. Let's get start the examination. <laughs> Just starting it now? I've been sitting here for like an hour. <laughs> you got a, you know, bedside manner. You gotta, I love how uh, like you can see all the trees yeah. as the wallpaper. Yeah. With like the curtains and stuff. What are they singing about? They're singing about hard times. 
Yeah, everybody has it pretty rough right now. Even if you just want to go home, you'll have problems. Like it'll be too dark and you'll get scared. Uh, maybe you can just stay lost in the dark. Maybe you'll be okay with that eventually. Your friend's in pretty bad shape, isn't he? Oh, well, let's come back. Let's come back, kid. Snip snap. <laughs> Smarm o'clock. Over here. <laughs> But there's nothing we can't handle. You might have a few things to look out for in the future. Be a bit gentler with the leg or the way you walk, but you'll be okay. I've dealt with similar cases before. So don't strut too so hard. So the anesthetic we use is called Neuripinol TM. It's pretty experimental, but it's more appropriate in cases like yours. The way it works is, I'll count backwards from five to start the process, then we'll just have a normal conversation as the Neuripinol TM takes effect. <laughs> then I'll get started. Just, I think they mean trademark, maybe. Yeah. Here we go. Five. <laughs> Four. Actually, if you say TM, I think it'll be Oh. So let's talk about the lips for a moment. The pharmaceutical company I'm contracting with really require my energy company to do some different work for really ravenous. Let's be careful. Uh, Conway is having a good time. Whoa, no, but we're not. No. Neuripinol, trademark. Do not take Neuripinol, trademark, without consulting a physician. Side effects may include... Slowly going into a Dutch angle. Loss of color. Vibrating, shimmering trees. Slowly going into a Dutch angle. Lack of ceiling syndrome. Utter, utter confusion. And... Pure blackness. In rare cases, death. Death. No diarrhea, though. If you experience the end of Act 2, <gasps> please consult your physician. Is that it? Is that what we got? But... But I need to know what happens with, with, with Julian next. I need to know what happens to the bird. That's all there is. It's, when are they making more? There ain't no more. Do you know when they're making more? No, I don't. Do you know when they release this? This this film came out in like July, I think, and they released it very quietly. Oh. It kind of snuck out. But we have a season pass, so when it comes out, we'll play it. Unless yeah. you guys don't want to see it. If you if you're really bored, then well, sorry. But well, you know, you made it you made it this far. Thanks for coming down the route with us. I'm pretty sure you guys want to know what happens next. I am saw a I'm, giant eagle. This is just starting to get good, We like you guys. went Gandalf. This is like, just starting to get good. <laughs> um, we will post up some more when it exists. Until then, um, check out some of our other games. We'll have some more wonderful things coming for you guys soon. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. It's always so fun. Bye, guys. Bye.